for the love of God, do not use this set. This set is useless. This set is pointless. It is overrated, and it is an absolute waste of a five-piece. Did I get your attention with that? Good. Hello, 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 everyone. How is it going, ladies, gentlemen, others? How's your grandma? Is she good? Is she still on that all-liquid diet? I'm sorry to hear that. Make sure to tell her Merry Christmas for me. Yes, I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but I really don't care. So today, guys, I would like to talk to you all about this new set that just came out with the last patch. Uh, I honestly didn't expect it to get as much attention as it has been getting. Uh, I can't really say I'm surprised, but... I'm, I am, quite frankly, astonished by the fact that I've actually heard some people go so far as to call this set uh, meta, you know, new meta. And it, it's actually really mind-blowing to me. What set is that, you may ask? I'm sure you saw it in the thumbnail, but we're going to say it again anyway. Wretched Vitality. The new craftable sustain set that we just got a few days ago here on console and about a month ago on PC. Now, before you grab your torches, before you grab your pitchforks, Give me a moment to explain myself, please. The first question that I think I need to answer with this video is this. Is Wretched Vitality strong? Now that's a very, very easy question to answer. It's a back barable sustain set that gives you over 500 both Magicka and Stamina Recovery. Statistically, yes, on paper this set is extremely strong for a sustain set. So I'm sure you're asking yourself now, Oh, Carol, if you say this set is strong, then, then why are you telling people not to use it? I don't, I don't understand. Do you just want to keep people from using the good set so you can use them for, your, for yourself and no one else will? It sounds kind of gatekeeper -y to me. No. No. Young nerd, that is not the case at all. The main point I want to make to you all here today is that no matter how strong a sustained set is, unless it is absolutely off the walls, totally bonkers, 1,000 stamina and magicka recovery at all times, it will never be more valuable to you than an offensive or defensive set, and it should never, and I mean absolutely never, take up an entire five slots on your build. So, why is that? Well, I'm not going to blueball you, I'm going to go ahead and present you with some facts and knowledge uh, to really help you understand why this is just the undisputable truth. Now, to really drive this argument forward, we're going to take a look at some numbers and analyze the primary counter-argument that people that actually like to use these kinds of sets will typically throw at you when you present them with this opinion. That counter-argument, of course, being using a sustain set allows you to build full damage everywhere else. So, let's get the numbers here first. Wretched Vitality, when fully buffed, gives you 519 stamina and magicka recovery, as well as one line of weapon damage and spell damage, but uh, since that is on the fourth piece bonus and most people are going to have the set back bar, the weapon damage will be lost on uh, your front bar, and uh, you know, so it's pretty much entirely irrelevant. And honestly, knowing the players that play ESO and the players that typically rely on sustain sets, I'm sure a lot of people aren't actually going to be efficiently proccing both effects more often than not, but for the sake of argument, let's say that everyone can easily proc both of them, both the major and the minor, and get both effects. Well, we're going to use a uh, Stamina Templar as our class in this little experiment, because Stamina Templar has always had comically terrible sustain, and it can easily double proc Wretched Vitality by just throwing down the rune. So, to, to go up against Wretched Vitality, we're going to be using Clever Alchemist as our damage set. Clever Alchemist provides two lines of max health, making you a bit tankier by giving you a more robust and harder to burst down health pool, as well as, again, that, uh, that four-piece line of weapon spell damage, which we're not going to factor that in, because again, fourth piece, it's going to be it's gonna be gone in the front bar, so we're just going to ignore that. And lastly, when you proc its five-piece, you gain a massive 660 weapon damage and spell damage. We're just going to say weapon damage for sake of argument, and just to make this easier and save me some breath. <clears throat> And you gain that for 20 seconds. So at the baseline here, we are picking between 519 stamina recovery versus 660 weapon damage at the, the very, very base value. Now to me already, uh, I'm looking a bit more opportune towards the weapon damage set just because it's going to give you more damage, it's going to give you more healing, and it's going to give you more health. It's going to make you mo more effective at both killing and staying alive. But we do also need to worry about some other factors here. We need to worry about our sustain because naturally, if we're not using a sustain set, we're going to need to get our sustain from somewhere. So, 
first step we're going to take here is we're going to grab the Serpent Mundustone, which is 310 stamina recovery. Now, for me, that's typically plenty of recovery, but for some people, you may want a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and take another step here, and we're going to also grab a uh, infused stamina recovery enchant on top of that. That is another 270 uh, stamina recovery. So with those two small adjustments, we're going to gain 580 stamina recovery. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but 580 is a bigger number than 519, which is just a, you know, a little bit more than Wretched Vitality. And it also doesn't rely on you to proc anything, so it's always there. Now, this is where uh, that argument that I mentioned earlier is going to come into play. Now, if you were using Wretched Vitality, you wouldn't need to use any Recovery Glyphs or Mundus. So let's go ahead and uh, do the math and see how much damage we would get if we didn't have to use those, shall we? So let's say that we are using the Warrior Mundus. That is 238 weapon damage. Alright, now we also have an infused weapon damage enchant on that same piece of jewelry from before. That is 278 weapon damage. So that is 516 total weapon damage. That is about 150 less weapon damage than Clever Alchemist. And we are also getting about 60 less uh, stamina recovery. So less weapon damage and less recovery than the Wretched Vitality setup. Obviously not by ridiculous numbers, but it is lower. So the math is there. It doesn't lie to you. We do get more sustain and more damage out of using the damage set in the situation. Now, of course, you do get that off stat sustain from uh, Wretched Vitality, which is neat and all, but it's really not that useful on a vast, vast majority of setups. Uh, you could make an argument that Magicka characters really benefit from that stam sustain, but that's more of a learn to play issue. If you're, you know, over sustain is a whole thing we're not really going to get into right now. And uh, we're just looking at the numbers here as, you know, a regular, single stat focused build. Now, I know another argument that some of you guys may go ahead and make here, and that is that Clever Alchemist is only active for 20 seconds. So you could opt to uh, use Wretched Vitality and get a good balance between sustain and damage just with a much more reliable uptime. You know, less damage, less sustain, but you don't have to, you know, you don't have to time all of your damage into that 20 second burst window. So, for that, I have two counterpoints. Counterpoint one, counterpoint one, I apologize, is that in PvP, um, damage is pretty much the most important thing, and moreover, burst is is 100% the most important thing when it comes to succeeding in PvP, so being able to top out your burst damage as high as humanly possible is very, very important. So that Clever Alchemist starts to look a lot more attractive, because when you need to blow someone's fucking socks off, you need to blow their fucking socks off, so being able to hit them as hard as possible is it's important. It's nice, okay? Now, counterpoint number two is that, believe it or not, there are ways to get better sustain and damage than the Wretched Vitality setup without having to rely on Clever Alchemist's shitty uptime, if it really bothers you that much. So, let's talk about another set. And of course, I'm only talking about back barable sets right now. I'm not even talking about double bar sets. So, there's options. <clears throat> what set are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about good old Powerful Ass, Powerful Assault. So, this set gives you a line of max HP, so again, more health, a bit, bit of tankiness there, as well as a line of max stam, while it is arguably the worst bonus on this set, it does have a benefit, which we'll talk about in a moment. And again, that same irrelevant four-piece uh, weapon damage, uh, which, you know, fuck it, whatever. And, of course, the five-piece, which will grant you and your party members both 307 weapon damage and spell damage every time you use an assault ability. So, we're going to be factoring in vigor, of course. <clears throat> So, you're looking at this set now, that is less than half the damage that Clever Alchemist gave, only 307 compared to 660. There's no possible way that could compete, right? Wrong. This is where the most important thing you need to keep in mind comes in. Sustain, as a whole, is easy as hell to get for free, pretty much. We have Mundus, we have CP, we have Glyphs, and then something that, that has no damage counterpart, we have food as well. So, let's do what we did before. We're going to use the uh, Serpent Mundus to get that 310 stamina recovery. 
Then we're going to keep that jewelry glyph as a weapon damage glyph for 278. And then lastly, we're going to mix it up. We're going to sub in a recovery food here. So we're going to pretend we were using sugar skulls before. Now we're dropping sugar skulls and we are picking up our Tayum Takeaway Broth, which is going to give us 338 stamina recovery. So that's going to come out to be even more sustained than the Clever Alchemist setup, which was already more sustained than the, the uh, Wretched Vitality setup. It's giving us a whopping 648 stamina recovery. With the damage from our Glyph and from our set, we're going to be getting 585 weapon damage. So that's even more weapon damage than the Wretched Vitality setup as well. So this setup has both more main stat sustain and more damage than the Wretched Vitality setup, and the fact that we have both HP and stamina on our two and three piece bonuses on our gear makes that stat loss from going from Sugar Skulls to Arteum negligible, because it's just about the same. And now all of this and the damage and sustain are both 100% uptime as long as you remember to Vigor every once in a while, which you will in PvP, otherwise you will fucking die. And the only, the only sacrifice is that off stat sustain. So I, I want to ask you, is being able to purify marginally more often really that big a deal? Hell, if you want to keep some of that off stat sustain, you could just use Orzorga's Smoked Bear Haunch instead, which gives you 369 Stam and Magicka Recovery, and so uh, that's even more Stam sustain than the Arteum setup, more health than the Arteum setup, and plenty of Max Mag sustain to get you by at the cost of a bit of stamina, which in 2021 really does not matter because Max stats stopped being relevant over a year ago. And lastly, one added side benefit of the powerful ass setup is that, again, it also buffs your group members, so if you are playing with friends with other people and you're not some kind of, you know, freaky solo player monster, you know, creep like me, um, <clears throat> you're actually going to be giving back to your group by giving them more damage, you bringing more damage to the table yourself, and not just over-sustaining and bringing the least damage in the group. So, yeah, you could go even deeper into this uh, conversation and start talking about mythics like Torque of Tonal Constancy. We could really get into uh, just, just how bad it is to build a habit of over-sustaining, but uh, like that, that's a whole lot. We don't really need to get into that, and I think I've proved my point here. Uh, I think I've proved my point, which is that Wretched Vitality, and by extension, almost every other sustain set, except Desert Rose. Desert Rose, is a, it gets a special free pass, because, you know, Miss Formigal Burr, and uh, they're just not worth it when you could be using a set that gives you more damage, more healing, more tankiness, and you could still sustain just as good, if not better. And that's basically it, guys. That's all I got for you today. I hope you learned something. I hope I helped you out a bit, saved you some time, perhaps, some gold, some mats, whatever. If you agree with what I've said in here, uh, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. Let's have a discussion down in the comments. Don't forget to like and sub. For more content in the future, uh, join my Discord because we would love to have you. We got all sorts of people. We talk about all kinds of stuff. Follow me on Twitch to watch me play this game and die a whole lot live and get very mad because I don't have Wretched Vitality on and I just can't sustain that well. <clears throat> and uh, lastly, go support my Patreon if you love me. I got a bunch of patrons over there. They are my favorite people and they're awesome. And uh, most importantly of all, don't forget to have a great friggin' day. I love you all very, very much. Kuro, out. Mwah.